Okay, so this is part two of the diamond hot end conversion. I'm just kind of going over my build and everything. Uh, so I'm going to go over electronics here and wiring. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of a mess, but it's actually not that complicated. Um, so here's one installed. Uh, you can see all the four drivers in there. Um, they all get plugged in. Make sure they're plugged in the right direction. Um, so the enable on the bottom of those drivers matches up with the board uh, markings. Um, so you can see I have the motor plugged in here. These wires right there. Um, and I just have a few like single wire connectors that just uh, I just spliced onto the onto the um, wires for the motor. So um, I basically just cut those off. Uh, or actually the, the motor that I bought just had bare end wires so I just crimped on some connectors and then um, put them on there. But I think uh, in the description I put um, a link for some header pin connectors. Those are just solder on so you can like solder them on and uh, put a heat shrink tube over the connection. So those are probably a lot better for this. Um, get actual connectors instead of like little crimp on ferrule things. Um, let's see, so there's that. The, um, the steppers get connected uh, with the coils next to each other. So like um, coil A will be next to each other and coil B would be next to each other. And you can kind of, uh, you can tell with a multimeter. I uh, just, you, you can look it up on Google how to connect stepper motors, but, um, okay, so the next thing is 12 volt goes here, it's this blue connector right here, um, so make sure you get a 12 volt line from, um, uh, positive and minus from here to your, uh, power supply over there, um, so I just wired it straight into that, so, um, that, will power the motor, the extra motor. So you can use the, uh, you can use like just some extra wire you have laying around. It doesn't matter too much. Um, and it's not going to draw too many amps. Okay, so next thing is um, the um, jumper wires. They go from the, uh, let's see, so you can see I have all the end stops here plugged in. Um, there's some unused end stops, so you can see like this one right there. So that one's unused, and uh, I'm using it for signal. Um, I think that's signal, maybe not. I know I used a few for uh, 5 volts also, but I'll go over that later. Um, but I basically use the end stops, the extra ones like X plus, Y plus, and Z plus. I use those as the uh, step direction and enable on the extra board. Which, thankfully, I have an extra, um, an extra one of those extender boards to show you on make it a lot easier if I can get it open here. Um, sorry about that. Okay. So here's the extra board. Um, so hold it like that. And uh, here's the 12 volt that I was just talking about. You're going to connect there. Um, your step and direction are going to get connected to these pins here. So you can see they all correspond. Um, and then you can see that they're labeled like X, Y, Z, Z, and A. So those, um, uh, the A requires you to put some jumpers on here. So don't use the A, just use the um, X, Y, or Z. So whatever you, um, it doesn't matter which one you use. It just matters that you're consistent. So if you are if you have the motor connected here, then you want to make sure to be, you want to make sure to use the X step and X direction pins. So right there. 
Um, so what you're going to do is run a jumper wire from your X step and X direction pins here onto the um, the um, X plus, Y plus, and Z plus pins on here. And um, they have like a they have a little uh, writing that says like uh, signal ground and VCC or something like that. Um, so you want to connect it to the signal pin. So that'll come straight to the controller. And uh, then you can remap those pins to use as the step and direction pins. Um, you can use the enable pin. Um, and it is useful, kind of, but you can also just um, ground it out by putting a little jumper over here. Put a jumper from enable to ground, which is why they're next to each other. It'll always enable the motors when it's on. And you don't really have to worry about it. Um, and then you don't have to use one of your uh, outputs on your microcontroller. You just always have the motor on. Um, there is like a power a power concern with that though if you have them on all the time. But yeah, it's fine. Okay. So uh one other thing is before you put in the drivers, there's these pins right here, and those set the micro stepping. Um so what you want to do is uh, I think it's like the first two. Put jumpers on the first two sets. Um but you might want to look at the manual for the CNC shield. Arduino CNC shield. I think it's like if you go to that, I think it has it, but um, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can look up a schematic, and you can also look up, you know, what should be connected for what micro stepping. Um, I think it was the first two, and I think it was one eighth micro stepping, if I remember correctly. Anyways, uh, another thing is. Uh, when you have the uh, stepper drivers, oh, you have the stepper drivers in the board. So that's what that looks like. Don't use a metal screwdriver to adjust the pots because you can blow the board up. Not really blow it, but you know, ruin it. Um, so either do that while it's off. So you can use a metal screwdriver. Just make sure it's off. Or like a ceramic screwdriver, which I've never seen before, so I don't know. <laughs> um, so make sure you adjust them while they're off. And uh, I think mine are set at about one volt, uh, the reference voltage on here. So if you touch ground and touch, uh, just touch the screw on here, uh, you can read the reference, reference voltage with the multimeter. So mine was like one volt or something. Uh, which is similar to the actual just tarantula uh, settings. Um, and another thing is, oh, 5 volts. So you have to roll, run 5 volt here also. And there's a few places you can run 5 volt from on the main board. Um, one being the, uh, the X, uh, Y, and Z extra end stop ports, they have a 5 volt um, pin so you can and a, and a ground pin. So you just wire them over to this. So you make sure you do that. 5 volt and ground. Um, and then, oh, if you blow anything, so if it suddenly stop, stops working, um, most likely you blew the fuse. And it took me a while to realize this, but that is a fuse right there. So um, if it goes out, so right there, um, if it goes out, what you want to do is solder it from the back side, solder a little wire over it, and then put a new fuse in um, on the input. So I think it's uh, I think it's like these two right here. So you just solder a wire across there, and then you, you're going to put a fuse on the 12-volt uh, line. Um, I can't remember exactly what fuse you want to use, but just keep uh, increasing until it, it doesn't burn out. <laughs> no, just look at the motor specs and then um, you can find out. Okay, so that's the extra board. So that gets mounted right there. Um, and uh, I kind of just routed all the wires up 
through the back of this and then over the top and over. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, and then it just kind of snaps into this holder right here. So the pins kind of just sit in there. I didn't want to use any metal to hold it on because uh, I'm going to short it out. Uh, okay, so I think that's the wiring. Um, all the, the materials are in the description, like I said before. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask. Um, let me see, I guess I will go over software next. So I'll see you next time.